Hello everyone, I am back with another book video today. I have been reading a lot of summer inspired books lately, like vacation books, like books that took place in the summer. I've been really loving it, I just feel like I need to get into the summer mood right now. If you're into like summer romance books or you're looking for like a cute little vacation book to take with you on vacation, or you just want to get into the summer mood and just kind of get inspired for the summer, I have the perfect book recommendations for you. Okay, let's jump right into this video. I'm going to start off with my, my last read and it is one of my favorite, favorite books so far. It is Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren and this book was so cute and so beautiful. This is a five-star read for me. Honestly, anything by Christina Lauren is a five-star read for me. I love them. They are amazing writers. This book starts off with Macy and her dad. They buy a cabin, I guess, or like a little beach house where they go every weekend and they kind of just like spend the summer there and they would go up every weekend, even like during the school days and that's how she meets Elliot. He's like their next door neighbor. They kind of just clicked and connected. They instantly just like bonded over the love of books. This book kind of takes place in the past and the present. So it kind of just talks about like how they met, how they became best friends. Elliot kind of just becomes her person, like her best friend. They build like this inseparable bond, like everything he does, she's there, everything she does, he's there type of thing like that. But then something horrible happens and they kind of lost touch. They haven't talked to each other in almost 11 years. And now she finally runs into him in present day and it's stirring up all of these feelings. And she's just like confused. Like, does she want to be friends with him again? Like, it's like so hard for her. But you're just gonna have to read to find out what happened 11 years ago, why they split up. But it's such a cute little summer romance book and I loved it. Highly recommend this book. Next three books are by Emily Henry and Emily Henry is the queen of writing summer romance. A recent book that I read is Book Lovers and this book was so good. Like it's such a bookish little book. This book is about a girl and a guy. They kind of work in the same department kind of. Like she, she's a literary agent. She gets like these stories from her clients and she kind of has to see if this guy likes the stories for them to be published. I really have like no better explanation but that's pretty much what the two of them are. So he kind of like doesn't like her clients work and they kind of have like this enemies vibe happening here he pretty much like insults her the first time they met she kind of takes a month break from work i guess to spend more time with her sister because her sister is having a hard time so they move to like this little town and they kind of just go on like this month-long vacation and she runs into him the guy. They kind of have like this back and forth bickering and bantering relationship which I love honestly. He is so funny. I did not really expect him to have a personality. They just bond over their love of books, bond over their job, and they kind of form like some kind of friendship. I just love small town romance and this book is... I just feel like everyone who reads books and who understands books should read this book because it is just everything us as a reader could ever want and i highly recommend if you're interested in like a small town romance type of book this is giving me like very gilmore girls vibe um with the two sisters and their love for books and small town guy very very gilmore girls vibe next two book by emily henry are people we meet on vacation and beach read and i love this one this one was a five star read for me i read this last summer i think it's about two best friends they've been best friends since college like the beginning of college and it's very grumpy ex sunshine and they kind of made this pact where they go on a vacation every year they've been doing it forever then they have some kind of falling out one year and they haven't spoken to each other since then and so she's very like depressed like she really misses her best friend so she kind of calls him up and like hey do you want to take a trip and so she's really hoping that this trip like brings them back together and so there's a lot of like unresolved feelings and issues there. I love this book because it talks about every single vacation like they went on, like all these amazing places they go on and what they do. It's very cute. It's a very funny book as well. I love Poppy and Alex's friendship. They are honestly goals because he would do anything for her and she would do anything for him. Okay, her next book which is Beach Read, which honestly 
it's not one of my favorite books it was very slow but it definitely gives you that vacation summer vibe about a boy and a girl they're both writers and anyway the main character she writes romance novels and gust or augustus but we call him gus he writes like literary fiction they both went to college together so that's how they kind of know each other but they're polar opposites like they just like do not mix and something happens in january has to move into her dad's beach house for the summer guess who is her next door neighbor this guy the main plot of this book is about the two of them switching genres so she's writing a book about literary fiction and he's writing a book about romance it kind of started off as a bet to see whose book will be the best seller if they like switch genre very interesting and entertaining because she's making him go on like these little romantic dates so he can get ideas for his romance novels and then he's taking her to like these very weird spots um so she can get ideas for her book i really did enjoy the book Book, but I just felt like it was too slow for me and I feel like there's just like certain things that weren't explained I think what I really liked about it is just like the fake dating and the fact that they're polar opposites and they kind of just like bond over the love for writing and giving their ideas to each other I really like that so yeah okay so this next book is not summer inspired but it's definitely like a vacation kind of inspired and it's Anne and a French Kiss this is just like a cute little romance read and I love it it's YA which is like strange for me because I don't really read YA anymore but this was just like really nice okay so this book is about a girl her name is Anna and she is being forced to go to a boarding school in Paris and she's not happy about that ungrateful much like i would do anything to go to a boarding school in paris anyway she's like this very naive girl she doesn't want to leave all her friends back at home and there's this guy back at home that she really likes and you know how it goes so she gets to paris and she meets this like group of friends um that kind of just like take her in as their own pretty much they show her around they teach her french and stuff like that then she runs into like one of the guys in the group and she finds him attractive of course but he has a girlfriend and he also finds her attractive like there's like an attractive like bond there that never ends well they give her like a tour around paris she goes out like on little adventures on her own and just she's just trying to like actually enjoy her life in paris she realized she's been taking this whole trip for granted and she just wants to kind of live in the moment a little and that's kind of what she does and then every day she like falls for this guy who has a girlfriend and he's like he's always like hanging out with her they spend thanksgiving together and they really bond and it turns out they have like a lot in common i loved it because it definitely gives me like like mini vacation vibes because she's moving to a different country and she's like exploring this is like one of those books that you can read to get out of your reading slump because it's very fast paced and there's just a lot that happens but it's like a very very cute type of book okay, so the next book that i have is malibu rising by taylor reed and this book is not really like romance focused but it's definitely giving that summer vibe, that vacation vibe. Literally, this book takes place on a beach. The main character, Nina, lives on a beach house and her and her other three siblings? I swear, I have like, I forget every single book that I read, it's so bad. All like into surfing and they're all like into like the beach and stuff like that. This book focused on like each sibling's point of view and their life and their secrets and i've never read a book like that before and this book was just so good it like kept me hooked basically these four siblings are like super famous super like wealthy it talks about their parents back in the day how their parents met and the struggles they've all been through oh my god this book has touched my heart it was it was very emotional to read i did cry i'm not gonna lie but it's Taylor Reed, like her books makes me cry. It was a very beautiful story. I really did expect more from it. I'm really glad it got the ending that it did because I really, I was happy with the ending, but I really expected more. It was overall still like a really great story. I highly recommend reading this in the summertime. You can even take it to a beach to read. Honestly, it is, it was amazing. And anything by Taylor Reed is 
chef's kiss okay so another book i want to talk about is the spanish love deception which i've talked about almost most of my videos and this is honestly one of my favorite rom-com books okay so this book is about this girl needing a date to go to her sister's wedding in spain and so erin her grumpy co-worker offers to be her date and so they go to spain and they just kind of have like a mini vacation there um, I really like it because it is fake dating. Not really enemies to lovers, but kind of is. And it's Grumpy X Sunshine, and it's just a very cute little funny read. I loved it because I read this in the summer last year, and it was so good. Like, so good. I kind of want to reread it again. I have to warn you though, this book is a slow burn. You kind of don't get to like the Spain event until like three-fourths in i would say like it is super slow for like no reason but i did enjoy it because i love a good slow burn romance but it is totally worth it because such a cute little summer romance i feel like everyone who likes rom-coms just need to read this i have another christina lauren book it is called the unhoneymooners which is another book i talk about like all the time this book was so hysterical i could not stop laughing it's about this girl going on a fake honeymoon with her sister's husband's brother and they hate each other something happens at her sister's wedding and so they can't make it to their honeymoon so olive and ethan ends up going on this fake honeymoon they have to pretend they're in love that they're they just got married and they're having like the time of their lives and it is literally the funniest thing ever because they hate each other so much it's just so funny watching two people who hate each other pretend to be in love and they kind of form some kind of like mutual relationship bond kind of you're seriously looking for a good laugh i think this is like the perfect book to start with because it was just it was just too funny and it's a five star read for me so read it next book i have is it happened one summer this girl her name is piper she's like an influencer she's like very famous literally serena vanderwoodson she is like the serena vanderwoodson of book girls literally she's blonde and she's tall and she's rich so piper is always getting into trouble and so she lands herself in jail and her father has had enough of her so he sends her to the town where her mother grew up in her dad basically sends her and her sister to this small town then she kind of meets this guy his name is brendan and he automatically just does not like her he just thinks she's this spoiled little brat kid that gets everything and she's just gonna come to this town and ruin everything her dad or her mom i guess owned a little place like a little bar place i guess and she has made it her life goal to get this place up and running brendan kind of he like offers to help them get this place together for the summer and she basically spends the entire summer just trying to do good and trying to be good and pretty much bond with her sister making friends in this town and i guess just trying to like get this guy's attention there's also a second book about her sister and this other guy his best friend i haven't read it yet but i heard it was like really spicy so i don't know we'll see so the last book that i have is cruel summer by allison noel this book is kind of similar to anna and the french kids so the main character whose name i can't remember she gets sent to greece to spend the summer and there is like no internet no email like nothing like she knows nobody and her aunt is crazy she eventually finds a place with a computer and she starts a blog so she kind of like starts writing about her adventure there she knows that it's gonna be like super cruel because she doesn't have her friends there and whatever eventually she starts kind of romanticizing her life in greece so she's meeting all of these amazing people she even like meets this guy that she really likes and she kind of just doesn't want to go back home she just kind of finds herself in greece because back home she like tries to fit in with like the popular crowd like she tries to like do what they're doing you know it's kind of like one of like those like coming of age type of books she really like took a step back and was like you know what grace is not that bad like i really like it and she's just like learning more about herself there and she's already built like this amazing relationship with the people 
in town it's honestly such a sweet little romance i love it and i kind of want to go to greece based on like the things that i read about this book which is very interesting this book is something that i would probably have read in high school because i read a lot of like alice and noel books in high school and i didn't even know this book existed it really is an eye opener not take the beautiful things around you for granted and i really do love the story behind this book it was very touching and very moving i honestly would recommend this to like every teenage girl to just read this book like i wish i read this book when i was a teenager okay so i wasn't going to include this book because i haven't finished it yet but so far i'm really liking it i'm halfway through it and it is heart bones by colleen hoover which is such a cute little summer romance book so far it is really good the book is about a girl her name is bea she's spending the summer with her dad before she moves to college and she meets this guy who's her next door neighbor and they basically live on a beach like it's a beach house they're always on the beach i don't want to spoil anything and also i haven't finished it so but i know i'm gonna like it so far it's a five star read for me i'm like halfway through it but from what i'm reading so far i really really like it and basically it's just like about this girl and this guy her next door neighbor they form like this friendship but there's more underneath the surface there she's moving away he's moving away after the summer so i want to see how that plays out they are just complete opposite the guy samson he is from a family of wealth and bea comes from poverty so they just do not mix but that just doesn't bother him but it bothers her like really wants to get to know her i'm actually excited to see like what really happens because i feel like there's a story here about him that we don't know yet i just know this book is gonna break me like i i just know it but i'm gonna give it a five star anyway okay so that is all the little summer romance books i have for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you get some recommendation and book ideas for the summer if you're going away i hope you take one of these books with you because they are just like perfect to like read on the plane read on the beach yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoy this video and i'll see you guys next time bye